Some of the first forms of bottles were made by converting natural items into containers, such as coconuts or animal eggs. One of the most widespread was the bottle gourd. The bottle gourd, or calabash, is believed to have originated in southern Africa, but managed to spread across the world over 10,000 years ago. Its widespread expansion is believed to be linked to humans, who possibly domesticated the plant before most other crops and animals, and brought it with them to America through human migration. The bottle gourd has a variety of uses, from culinary and cuisine around the world, to being used to make a variety of instruments, such as the sitar. But its primary purpose has always been as a storage device, from cups, bowls, and plates, to a bottle. In the spring, I planted the seeds to grow my own bottle, and let them grow over the next few months. But while I let those grow, I went out to find another source of one of the earliest bottles used by humans. Come here, guys. Come on. Come here, guys. Come on. Even today, the ostrich egg is used as a bottle by the hunter-gatherers of the Kalahari. At over 20 times the size of a chicken's egg, ostrich eggs are able to hold over a liter of water in a surprisingly durable shell. My name is Ryan Lickfelt. I'm a full-time real estate agent here in town, and we've got a hobby farm, so we've got white-tailed deer, and a couple years ago we ran across a guy that wanted to buy a white buck from us, and he had a couple ostriches, and so we worked out a deal. Last year we hatched out a couple of chicks, which would be these two back here. They were born in August. They grow about a foot a month, so it didn't take them long to get this tall. Very curious animals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're fun. They're different. Yeah. We attract a lot of people that come out here to see them. <laughs> uh, how often do they lay eggs? Um, she started laying eggs in the spring here probably in April. Uh, beginning, beginning. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> hey, knock it off. How often do they lay eggs? Um, you know, she started laying eggs here in I believe it was May. So we got 30 some eggs, I think 38 it was. And we hatched out, oh gosh, I want to say last year. 14 or something like that, and these are the only two that survived. You know, a lot of people are intimidated because they're so tall and just yeah. and like this. They just don't want to leave you alone, but. <laughs> so what do they normally eat? You know, I give them a mixture of cracked corn, soybeans, wheat, oats, sunflower seeds, mm -hmm. and they do a lot of grazing. They eat a lot of grass. Okay. You know, and that's something I didn't know when I got them. I just figured they'd eat just like a normal chicken or something, but yeah, yeah they yeah, eat a so ton cool. of grass. Alfalfa, they love alfalfa. The shells are pretty thick on the eggs. Aren't very they? thick, yeah, very thick. And, and when they hatch, when we put them in the incubator, we actually don't put water in there to keep the eggs moist like you would with a chicken or a duck egg. Yeah. And so the eggs actually dry out, and then the, the baby breaks the shell by just expanding its body yeah. instead of pecking through it. So it just kind of oh. sounds like a big bang oh, really? <laughs> when they hatch. <laughs> yeah. She likes you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Food. Come on, Andy, put your tongue out. <laughs> this is the nest here? Yeah, here's a nest, and here's an egg for you for breakfast. All right. How many chicken eggs is this? The equivalency is about 24. 24 oh, wow. chicken eggs to one ostrich egg. Like a big omelet. A big omelet. You better have a few <laughs> friends over. So I just got to drill a hole at the top? Yeah, what we do is we just take a big drill, drill a hole through it, and then stir it up with a piece of wire, shake it all out, and then when you're done, you can actually wash the egg out and um, you've got a souvenir. Cool. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Now that I have the egg, I just need to drill and drain it to turn it into a bottle. So after drilling the egg and draining it, I now have an ostrich egg bottle, as well as a snack. The color looks a little different. It's like a little bit whiter. Looks almost like fish. But... Not bad. It tastes like 
chicken eggs, something a little different, but it, very similar to chicken eggs. Meanwhile, back in my garden, the bottle gourds I had planted had slowly matured over the course of the summer and were ready to be harvested. Once harvested, they just need to dry out over the next few weeks. So after the gourds fully matured, just let them dry out and now they're ready to be turned into bottles. So just gotta cut them off and see what's inside. I'm not really sure what's inside, there's something. Some sort of prize. Whoa! Whoa, it's the jackpot. It's a bottle that contains the seeds for more bottles. Alright, and after cleaning them out, I now have two bottles.